Hi, this is Jeffrey Berman. I am at I.O. West Theatre on Hollywood Boulevard. We are here tonight for the Armando Show. The Armando Show is an improv comedy show. There are going to be a lot of celebrities here on stage yucking it up. We, uh, what's great about the show tonight is that half of the box office is being donated to the Solidarity Strike Fund to help support some of the people below the line that are put out of work by the strike right now. It's fantastic. It's going to be going on all month. And right now I've got a special guest who's a part of the show tonight, Melanie Chardoff. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. So tell me a little bit about the show and how you got involved. Uh, well, I've been a fan of iOS for quite some time. I also teach improvisation, but another sort of improv. But these guys are my paragons of virtue in terms of the improv collaboration world. And they invited Justine and I to co-host tonight. So I'm going to take an audience suggestion and fabricate a life story out of it that this genius group can improvise upon. Now, you've been a part of I.O. West for a while, because I just heard of it tonight. Yeah. No, never. Never been here, except to be an audience member. No, this is my first time on the stage. I'm an honored honored member tonight. A lot of prep on my part, you can see that. Yeah, mine too. Uh, <laughs> well, because I, I asked because I was talking to the owner before we came out here, and I understand that I.O. West started in Chicago. It did. Uh, Charna started it. It was a Del Close brainchild. Je Del Close was the man who passed away and left his skull to uh, all the productions of Hamlet in, in Chicago. I did not Del know that. Uh, his skull still appears as Yorick in every production of, uh, of Hamlet that's done in Chicago. You didn't know this? I did not know that, but oh, I didn't come from Chicago. To, he didn't want to be off stage for a moment, Del Close, so he has left a legacy here for people to carry on his work. God bless him. So, what is it about Chicago that there seem to be a lot of funny people there? I think it's a great melting pot for a lot of ethnic groups, a lot of characters. There's a lot of fine schools there. The original Second City, for example, that generated from Chicago, um, had a lot of very political folks involved. It was really a, a, a political outcry, as a matter of fact. All the people involved at that time were making a lot of social commentary about the upheavals in the, in the United States, I guess, in the 60s and such. So, um, and it's still a wonderful pot for all kinds of characters. I did the vagina monologues there a few years ago, and even my cab driver was funny. Everybody's witty. It's kind of like Ireland, where everybody reads the paper every day and has something charming to say. So if I went to Chicago, I'd be a much funnier person? No, you'd no. be laughing. <laughs> you would be laughing a lot. No. I actually um, had a cab driver pick me up after doing the vagina monologues one night, and he said, to, he was Asian, and he said to me, I'd take you home. I said, great. He said, I saw, I not know what that was. I mean in the show. I said, oh boy. Well, let's see, how can I say it? Well, it's a part of a woman, you know, it's a, a genital part. He says, I not know what genital mean. Can you tell me? I said, oh, well, let's see. It's um, it's a female. It's the essence of a female, you know, her private part. He said, I not understand what you mean. By the title of that show, what did that word mean? I said, okay, it's a, it's the part of the baby. It's the part of the woman that the baby comes out of. And he says, oh. no, not that that word. But I know vagina monologue. <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> I feel like I'm part of the I act right now. I've tell that story on camera for years. It's true. It's actually a true story. I'm glad I could set you up. The only misfortunate thing is that we are going to be broadcasting on the internet. You didn't get to use any dirty words, but you could have. There, there was no dirty word used. Vagina is not a dirty word. Not in my house it isn't. No, but you mean I could go crazy you and could say, have, yeah. yeah. Well, I work wholesome. You'll see tonight. I'm, I'm a clean cut kind of gal. All right. Well, listen, I appreciate you taking and the time to talk to us. Thank you for supporting us uh, here in the, for the evening of the writer's strike protest. I live right near Fox Studios, and I walk out my door every day, and I have all these wonderful people to take a walk with, striking with signs. It's it's really wonderful. Well, UnitedHollywood.com uh, was started all by, we're all writers on strike right now, and United Hollywood Live, I'm a striking writer also, oh, so correct. this is just a day job for me. I only do this when I'm not Are you being paid for this? No. You're not, I'm not either. It's amazing how they get us all to work for free by calling a strike, isn't it? You know, it's, it's actually like working, though, on my end. When it comes time to do rewrites, I don't get paid for those either. You don't really. Why are you doing this? It's, uh, you know, my, my love of the guild. Oh, that's wonderful. That's admirable. Thank you very much for coming in. Today. Thank you for being here. Once again, IOS Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. There's tickets for sale. If you have an opportunity, obviously you can't come tonight because I'm taping this live tonight. But come out next Monday, the Monday after that, all the way through January, and the first Monday in February. Box office receipts are going to support the Solidarity Fund. We'd love to see you out here. Melanie's here tonight. Justine's here tonight. Next week, I understand Drew Carey's coming. And there'll be a lot more celebrities that are coming. If you want to know who's going to be there, check out www.ios.com. Their website will let you know who's coming. Back to you guys.